It was a stormy night, and the lights of the whole town suddenly went off. It was very shocking, as it never happened before, and nobody out there could figure out what was going on. All they could see was a mysterious light, which was seen in the forests far away. People in the town were scared, as it wasn't something normal. I don't know what I shall do. Shall we call the police, or shall we go and check it ourselves, a man says. No, 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 we don't need to risk our lives when nobody else is doing something, why shall we, huh? The other man replied. They all decided not to interfere in this problem, and they all went back to their homes. On the other side of town there are three best friends, Eva, Justin, and Stephen. They all think that it's not fair to be idle. They all packed their bags and decided to sneak out of their homes. The forest was a bit far from their home, so they traveled on their bicycles. They reach the forest in an hour and start to search where the mysterious light was coming from. They all decide to search at different places. While they are busy searching, Stephen shouts, guys, come here, look what I found. They both run towards him and are shocked to see that there was a broken machine which was exerting light. Is it a spaceship? Justin asks. Yes, it's a spaceship. That means there will be aliens nearby too, says Eva. That would be so much fun if we found one, we can become his friends. They all start searching for aliens now. Meanwhile, the poor alien who lost control over his spaceship landed on Earth accidentally and is finding it is difficult now to contact his fellow aliens in space. He's worried and scared, he talks to himself, what if the creatures living here caught me and killed me? I'm just nine years old and not even good at protecting myself, he cries. He's walking by a bridge now and sees his reflection in the water. He's just three feet tall, his body is all blue, big black eyes, and his forehead is sparkling, making him look like a real alien. He was about to cross the bridge when the group shouted, Hey, are you an alien? We won't harm you. Listen to us. He looked back with a lot of fear in his eyes. Please, don't tell your people about me. I didn't come here intentionally, the poor alien whispers. No, we won't do any such thing with you, trust us, we came here to help you, says Justin. He stares at them for a while and realizes they are not his enemy and that they won't harm him. He tells them the whole story, that he was playing with his friends and got a dare to drive the spaceship, land it and bring it back to space safely. And if he was not able to do that he will lose the game. He tried to do that, but since the alien was still a child, he couldn't and ended up stuck on Earth. I lost my remote too, and without it, my people won't be able to track me. What should I do now, he cries. Be patient, don't you know where there's a will, there's a way. We all will help you find it. Don't worry, says Stephen. They all think since it's night, they might not be able to find his remote. So they will go back to their homes now and return tomorrow. But we can't leave you alone here, says Eva. We should put him into a sack, and we shall take him home with us, says Justin. They all hide him in the sack and carry him to their treehouse. You'll be safe here. Nobody visits this place except us, don't come out from here until we are back," Justin says. The alien agrees with them, and they all go back to their houses and sleep. They all went to the treehouse the next morning, got him, and then went to the same forest. They all were shocked to see there were police everywhere, and his spaceship was under their investigation. What the, what will we do now? How will we find his remote? Stephen says. And what if they found his remote before us? Eva says. Guys, think positive it will be fine. One of us needs to stay here with this alien, and the other two need to dodge those officers and find the remote first, Justin says. Eva decides to stay with the alien to protect him, and the other two go to find the remote. Eva and the alien hide behind a big tree. While Stephen and Justin were searching for the remote, 
One of the police officers caught them and asked, what are you kids doing here? Don't you know this place is under police investigation? We play here every day, Stephen explains. But you can't play here today. There's an investigation going on here today. You guys better leave. The two start fake crying and say, Sir, my granny died a month ago, and her last gift to me was an airplane. I lost it here yesterday. Please. Let us find it, or I'll never forgive myself. Stephen cries while Justin supports him by saying, So you can't be this cruel and must surely allow us to find the airplane. After all, we all have grandparents, and we know how important the things they give us are. The officer kinda gets emotional and says, okay. But just 10 minutes, not even a single minute more. They both agree and start finding the remote. They went back to the alien to ask about the remote's color and shape. He tells them it'll be all bright like his spaceship. They go down the bridge and notice there's something very bright beside the water. They both run towards it and realize it's the alien's remote. They went back to the alien and were leaving when the officer came and asked, what's in this sack? Um, it's sand, Eva says. Let me check your sack, the officer says. They all freak out. No, sir. You can't. Actually, it's wet sand and your hands will become dirty. I will see it. Show me the sack, the police officer says. Sir, we are getting late. My mum needs to grow plants in it. If it dries she will be angry at us, says Eva. The police officer finally lets them go. They all arrive at a mountain with a shortcut so that it doesn't take more time, and they could activate the remote as soon as possible. They reach there in some 15 minutes and try to operate the remote. The remote needed so much electricity that the electricity went off again in the city, and a flash appeared over the mountain. The officers were coming towards the mountain to see what was wrong. In the meantime the spaceship gets the signal and arrives on Earth to get the baby alien. Alien thanks the kids and promised them he will return to meet them again. And the kids advise him not to take any dares seriously in the future, and that he doesn't need to prove his power to anyone. They have an alien friend for life now, and the alien has got three real friends. Someone said it's so right that friends are not the ones we spend more time with, but the ones we spend less time with, but still, they are there for us every time we need them. The officers couldn't find the alien and the electricity of the town comes back as the alien's spaceship leaves.